SpaceX has always been at the forefront of space technology, making headlines with its daring rocket landings and groundbreaking innovations. From the dramatic rocket catches to pushing the boundaries of space exploration, the company never ceases to amaze. However, recently, SpaceX made a surprising decision that has the entire space community buzzing. In the upcoming Starship Flight 9, SpaceX will not attempt one of their signature rocket catches. Instead, they're trying something completely new. So what happened and why did SpaceX make this decision? One, no rocket catch, but a soft landing instead. Surely you remember the iconic moments when SpaceX successfully caught rockets in midair during past missions, especially during Starship Flight 7 and 8. These rocket catches became a symbol of SpaceX's technological prowess in the space race. But for the upcoming Starship Flight 9, SpaceX has decided to try a different approach. Instead of catching the rocket, it will attempt a soft landing in the ocean. Why no rocket catch this time? Do you think this decision makes sense? This decision isn't due to SpaceX lacking the ability to catch the rocket. In fact, they are fully capable of making the catch. Instead, the decision comes from a desire to experiment with a crucial aspect of the Super Heavy Booster's performance, testing a higher angle of attack during re-entry. This isn't about avoiding a difficult catch. It's a deliberate choice to gather critical data for future missions. Two, the purpose of testing a higher angle of attack. If you're unfamiliar with the term, an angle of attack refers to the orientation of a rocket as it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. A higher angle means the rocket tilts more aggressively, which can increase the aerodynamic stress and heat on its structure. So why would SpaceX want to test this? SpaceX's goal is to optimize the rocket's ability to withstand extreme conditions. If rockets can't endure high aerodynamic stresses and heat during re-entry, it will be incredibly challenging for future missions, such as landing on the Moon or Mars. What do you think about testing under more extreme conditions? Should SpaceX push the limits or be more cautious? Three, why choose a water landing? To carry out this test, SpaceX has chosen to land the booster in the ocean rather than attempting a rocket catch. Why the ocean? This makes sense considering the risks associated with the higher angle of attack. If the rocket's trajectory or stability were compromised, catching it could become tricky or even dangerous. Landing in the Gulf of Mexico provides SpaceX with a controlled environment where they can safely recover the booster and analyze the data afterward. Four, why does SpaceX keep experimenting? If you've been following SpaceX's journey, you'll notice a recurring theme, experimentation, learning, and adapting. SpaceX isn't afraid of failure. They use it as an opportunity to improve. Even when Starship Flight 8 didn't meet its goals, SpaceX didn't give up. They refined their technology and came back stronger. This iterative approach is what drives SpaceX's innovation. Five, how will this affect future missions? Starship is more than just a rocket. It's central to SpaceX's future ambitions. The upcoming Artemis missions, especially the 2027 lunar mission, depend on SpaceX's Starship HLS, human landing system, to transport astronauts to and from the moon. The success of these missions hinges on the flawless integration of various systems, and that includes ensuring that the Starship system is fully capable of re-entry and landing. With this in mind, these tests, such as the decision to avoid a rocket catch in Flight 9, are critical to ensuring Starship's capabilities in future, high-stakes missions. Do you think these tests will help SpaceX achieve their ambitious goals in the space industry? 6. Will SpaceX master rocket reusability? Reusable rockets have long been an idea in the space industry, but SpaceX has truly revolutionized the concept by making it a reality. Rocket reusability can drastically reduce costs and make space exploration more feasible. But achieving this with a rocket as massive as Starship will be no easy feat. Do you believe SpaceX will master reusability with Starship? Or do you think they still have a long road ahead? Chidori 7. What does the future hold for Starship? Starship is not just any rocket, it's the cornerstone of SpaceX's plans for deep space exploration. 
From sending humans to the moon to missions on Mars, Starship will be at the heart of all these endeavors. However, despite the impressive advancements, achieving the ultimate goal of orbital flight remains a challenge. Given the ambitious scope of Starship's mission, do you think SpaceX is on track to meet their goal of sending humans to Mars, or will more challenges arise? SpaceX's Exciting Space Journey SpaceX's recent decision to skip the rocket catch in Starship Flight 9 may seem like a step back, but it's really just part of their larger strategy to perfect the Starship system. By testing new re-entry dynamics, SpaceX is gathering essential data that will help refine the rocket for future space exploration missions. This is just another example of how SpaceX's philosophy of testing, learning, and adapting continues to propel them forward in their quest for reusable space technology. What do you think about SpaceX's approach? Is skipping the rocket catch the right move, or would you have preferred to see them try again? Share your thoughts in the comments below.